Hey guys, what's up? It's Ryan with Julia back with another video. And today, you're the title, but I'm going to be drawing Joe Gardner from the new Pixar movie Soul that just came out today, which hopefully I end up uploading this video today. Um, I think I will, probably. Okay. Yeah, so um, I just watched this movie. As soon as I woke up, I grabbed my computer and I just watched it. Um, I think it's a really good movie. I love it. I think it's one of my favorite Pixar movies. It's good. Um, I am going to be saying spoilers in this video. So just like skip to the end if you don't want spoilers and you just want to see the artwork or you could just mute me or you can just mute your sound or yeah, do whatever you want. Basically, um, so I really liked the Soul 22 aspect of the movie. Um, like, I like her character. I think it's really cool. It's a nice, um, insight into the world. Or, I should just say the plot in the movie before I talk about any of this. Basically, Joe Gardner is a middle school band teacher. Um, but he wants to pursue greater music aspirations and like in a career i guess and his mom doesn't really like uh wants him to more be focusing on having a stable job because his dad was a musician um and but he couldn't like like money was hard because he wasn't a musician and then he died and yeah and joe he feels like that it was like his his whole like his passion to play like he thought that it was like he was born to do that um and then in the end he realizes no one's born for anything like we choose our own path i guess you could say because they think that the spark is like a hobby or something that you like but actually it's like you're like your personality you know so basically he's a middle school band teacher he gets a gig but then he dies um he falls into a hole so then he goes to the Great Beyond, but, um, well, no, he didn't go to the Great Beyond. So then he goes to the afterlife or, like, some type of thing. That, and he's supposed to be going to the Great Beyond, which is, like, like the death, basically. Right? And, well, he's already dead, but he they want him to go to Great Beyond. Um, but basically what happens is he goes back, and so he goes to the Great Before... And then he pretends to be one of the people who, like, train the people, I guess you could say. I don't know. Like, I forgot what they're called. But, yeah, he goes there and he does the thing with the people. And then... And... Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, <laughs> don't remember much about this movie, but I do know that it's really good, so watch it if you haven't. Um, and yeah, and I really like the voice acting. I think uh, Jamie Foxx was really good as Joe. He has that type of energy, you know? It's just, yeah, he just, I don't know how to describe it, but good voice acting. Tina Fey was good. Uh, she usually is. She's very, she's a good voice actor, just like always. Um, and then the characters were really nice. I liked Curly, um, who was only in there for like five minutes, but I liked him. I liked the girl who plays the trumpet, though I don't understand why she quit in the first place. But, but I like her. She's like a good... I don't know. Like she hates everything. I don't think it's all a waste of time. To kind of like mirror Soul 22. I don't know. But, um... Basically... Um... One second. But the character designs are pretty cool. I mean... Like, uh, the light things, Jerry's, all the Jerry's have really cool designs, and I love how whenever that one Jerry, who's the accountant, goes to the regular life, um, one second. So, um, yeah, 
uh, the character designs are great, like I just said. Um, so, like, when, uh, the accountant Jerry goes to the real world, and it's really cool how they incorporate that, like, in the signs and everything, and yeah. Uh, this, this blackboard I had trouble with. I wasn't sure if I just wanted to do it straight on, or if I wanted to do it, like, perspective-y, but I decided that I would do it perspective-y, but it kind of turned out bad, so I don't know. Yeah, so it's kind of weird that I drew him in his classroom teaching because he only teaches in his classroom, like, for the first five minutes of the movie. And then it's just like, no, go, and then you go other places. But I'm, I, I don't know if Joe got the job or not, or, like, if Joe kept on, if he took the middle school job or if he uh, kept, if he kept playing in the the quartet, the whoever that character's name is, quartet or anything. Uh, so I really want to see what happens. I, I want to know what happens. What does he do with his life? I know the last line is, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. But I want to know, okay? Okay, movie, tell me. But, <laughs> yeah. So it was kind of ironic that I drew him in his classroom when he doesn't even really like the job. I mean, I thought he liked the job and he was like kind of happy-go-lucky. But when I was watching the movie, I realized that he's actually like really self-absorbed. Like the time when he's talking to Soul 22, he's like, you could only like things if you're me because no one else in the world likes things except for me, you know? Like it, he, it's because he kind of felt like that. He, like, he wasn't giving Soul 22, um, like, room to grow her own personality. He's, like, just denying that anyone could ever have a personality and like music other than him. Even though he's trying to, like, you know, I guess make the kids love music, he never thinks that his friend can also like music. Because, because, because because he thinks that no one can like music except for him or i guess he doesn't want to think that but he actually does like he 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 doesn't know that he's doing it even though he is like whenever he's talking to 22 about everything and how um uh how um she didn't find her spark or maybe she did or whatever like yeah but and then it's kind of funny, like, when they're in the cat's body, but I don't know. I just doubt that, um, like, I don't understand. It doesn't really make sense that Soul 22 in Joe's body can hear the cat if no one else can. Like, I didn't get that because right now they, uh, Soul 22 was a human and is living then. So why is she different than all the other humans who can't hear what Joe is saying in the cat's body? So that's what I'm, I was confused about that when I was watching the movie. I was like, what, like, how, like, you know, I'm confused and I'm still confused about it. So if anyone can tell me, then let me know. So I wrote it, things ain't like they used to be, but it's actually supposed to be things ain't what they used to be. And yeah, like that's the song they had on the board, but I couldn't really see it because his head was blocking out the butt. So I thought it said like. So, and also my sister helped her. So blame my sister, please. Uh, don't blame me, blame my sister. But yeah. Um, I'm gonna keep crying. Anyways, guys, um, thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. And if you like and subscribe, tell me what you think of Soul in the comments below. Would you like to see the video? Um, please watch it. Because it's really good. And, you know, I think you'd like it. Uh, I just suggest it to all of you.